please let me to just introduce this session and then you can continue your talk. Thank you so much, dear audience. Good morning. I'm Sadia Shokat. I welcome to all of you in the second episode of the webinar for the month of May. This episode is about the role of NACTI in the teacher education accreditation. Dear audience, I hope you will respect the protocols of the webinar. Please use the chat box for your questions and the comments. This webinar is being recorded and presented through live stream that you can find through the sources of social media of the University of Education. Dear audience, I'm delighted to introduce you with Dr. Khalid Mahmoud, who is currently working as a Secretary of National Accreditation Council for Teacher Education in Pakistan. He has a plenty of experience of teaching administration and research. Dr. Khalid got an opportunity of working with Punjab Education Assessment System as a senior subject specialist. He joined University of Education as assistant professor in May 2008 and got chance to hold the position of director of education. Dr. Khalid also worked as a coordinator in the Center for Educational Research and Assessment at University of Education. He also got an opportunity of working in development sector as a director of bridging programs in USA teacher education project. Let's begin this session and over to you, Dr. Khalid. Thank you, Dr. Sadia and uh, other audience. Uh, please upload my uh, presentation so that I may start. Thank you, Rasawa. Uh, today I am going to introduce NECTI, role of NECTI and procedures of NECTI, National Accreditation Council for Teacher Education. Uh, who can benefit from my presentation? Uh, those faculty members who are preparing for accreditation and uh, who uh, those who want to know uh, how to get our programs accredited, they can benefit from my presentation. And uh, anyhow, it, it can be uh, useful for uh, students also uh, to learn what is NECTI and how does it work. So as uh, you know, National Accreditation Council for Teacher Education was established in 2006 uh, and it was notified in Gazette of Pakistan uh, in uh, August 30, 2007. Next. Next slide, Dr. Next slide. Uh, sorry, uh, yes. Uh, we uh, want to serve as national resource to accredited and certify teacher education programs based on the national uh, accreditation standards underlying the framework of national professional standards for teachers in Pakistan. The ultimate aim of our uh, endeavor is to raise the quality of teachers. Uh, raise the quality of teachers as defined through professional standards for national professional standards for teachers. And we have developed national accreditation standards uh, keeping in view uh, national professional standards for teachers. And uh, uh, we assess teacher education programs uh, according to national accreditation standards. I shall explain it next. Our mission is to promote excellence in teacher education through every evidence-based accreditation of teacher education and ensure quality of program uh, which are uh, preparing uh, teachers. And uh, when we, once we ensure quality of teacher education program, we assume that we will get a better product of teachers. Our values are equity, innovation, quality and impact. Uh, you can see uh, Founder Chairperson Madam Manabar Sultana Mirza, then uh, uh, Dr. Ziyazullah Tarek and Dr. Muhammad Mehman is uh, presently chairing the Council, uh, National Teacher Education Council. Next, Council 
as an accreditation body consists of federal and provincial representatives. Uh, total number of national accredited council is about 21. Uh, it comprises sec provincial secretaries, federal secretary, uh, representative from planning commission, representative from uh, higher education commission, representatives from uh, universities. There are six representatives from public sector universities and two representatives from private sector universities and uh, renowned educationists. Total number of uh, members of National Education Council are 21. Uh, Secretary um, Council is also a member of uh, uh, NECTI. Uh, it consists of, uh, 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 we also uh, make um, committees, we have accreditation, national accreditation uh, committee and we make need based committees for, uh, and selection committees and review committees uh, as required. Next. Uh, what is the role of NECTI? Role of NECTI is accreditation of teacher education program. There are some uh, accreditation bodies with accredited institutions, but National Accreditation uh, Council for Teacher Education uh, accredited teacher education programs. Uh, and we assess the quality of teacher education program being offered in universities. Next. Now, uh, I, I, I have said that we accredited teacher education programs and uh, uh, I mean we uh, assess quality of teacher education programs being offered in universities. Now, the question is what is quality of teacher education programs? The quality of teacher education programs have been operationalized in terms of accreditation standards, elements of accreditation standards and uh, quality indicators. You know, uh, whenever we want to quantify uh, constructs or uh, non-physical objects, we have to operationalize that concept, that, uh, that construct. The quality of uh, teacher education is also a construct. It is not a material thing. It cannot be measured through physical uh, uh, measuring tools. So we have operationalized quality of teacher education. So I, I shall elaborate it further, how it is uh, uh, operationalized in terms of standards, elements, and quality indicators. Next. We have seven, uh, eight uh, standards, seven standards and uh, uh, standard number one to standard number seven and conceptual framework of the program. It is also basically a standard. Uh, it uh, has been uh, uh, operationalized in terms of elements and uh, uh, quality indicators. So we have uh, seven plus one, eight standards. Uh, and these standards, each of these standards have been operationalized in terms of elements and all the elements have been operationalized in terms of quality indicators. This uh, uh, whole set of standards, elements and uh, um, quality indicators is available on our native website. Next, next slide. This slide uh, I have tried to explain operationalization of uh, quality of teacher education program. Uh, uh, in, uh, for example, standard number one has five elements. Standard number one is curriculum and instruction. It has five elements, curriculum development process, content and description of program, uh, courses, uh, transactions and uh, classroom management teaching learning procedures and methods and teaching practice and internship. Now each of these elements uh, has been uh, further uh, uh, operationalized in terms of quality indicator. For example, standard one has an element 1.1. Element 1.1 has been operationalized into five quality indicators. Similarly, element two into 12 indicators. Element three into six quality indicators. So in this way, standard one has been operationalized into 35 
measurable observable quality indicators similarly standard 2 has four elements and 29 quality indicators standard 3 three elements and 9 10 quality indicators so total we have 152 quality indicators 7 plus 1 standard and 152 quality indicators which we observe and verify and quantify during our uh, assessment process next dr sir now the next stage is once we have operationalized quality of teacher education program in terms of standards elements and quality indicators we have 152 quality indicators to uh, verify and quantify these quality indicators these observable verifiable quality indicators we have developed accreditation tools we have developed 10 accreditation tools and these uh, it took uh, about 3 years uh, from 2007 to uh, 2010 Three to four years, uh, Dr. Huma Lodi was very much involved in that initial process. Uh, she knows it better. That uh, it took, uh, and it, there was a donor assistance of UNESCO and USAID, and uh, uh, standards. And first of all, standards were developed. Consensus was uh, was developed uh, through seminars and uh, workshops, and uh, after deciding. Uh, 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 accreditation standards and oper operationalizing those standards. Next step was developing instruments. So instruments we have ten uh, instruments uh, to uh, verify and uh, uh, um, observe quality indicators. So uh, the uh, accreditation procedures were uh, during these three years. Uh, uh, accreditation standards were developed. Instruments were developed. Procedures were developed. and uh, after developing instruments and procedures uh, we were able to collect data uh, for data collection we developed a uh, purpose made software uh, we analyze our data on the basis, uh, through that software and after uh, we uh, we get analysis report we uh, compare that analysis with benchmarks we need benchmark to decide uh, whether the program should be accredited or non accredited if it can it should be accredited then what level we have lowest z level then y x w so we have defined um, benchmarks uh, to uh, decide the level of accreditation next slide we have 10 tools uh, for uh, interview protocols interview from head teacher interview from teacher educators uh, interview from sports staff and interview from prospective teacher yani wo jo students hain aapke enrolled in teacher education program we interview them uh, to get their perspective then we have questionnaires and checklists we have questionnaires for prospective teachers uh, next questionnaire for alumni checklist and observation of infrastructure and facilities Dr. Sir, next slide. And uh, uh, that list of uh, classroom observation, uh, document inventory, and document analysis. Uh, we have ten instruments. Now, next slide. Now, who will use these instruments? Uh, and uh, what is the actual process of uh, evaluation so we have a uh, trained a uh, pool of uh, external evaluators from uh, working faculty members in different universities uh, faculty members in public and private universities can apply to be external evaluator uh, we call them for a four day training workshop we organize four day training workshops and uh, we train them uh, faculty those faculty members for uh, data collection with the help of 10 tools we acquaint teacher educators uh, with data collection instruments of nectee 
uh, we uh, discuss uh, concepts and uh, uh, try to develop theoretical clarity uh, on accreditation and accreditation processes and we also provide hands-on practices to use those instruments. So through such type of workshops, we uh, train external evaluators, uh, we, we prepare teams for um, accreditation visits uh, from those evaluators, they go to the uh, uh, institutions and collect data. Now, what is the accreditation process? Institutions formally apply for accreditation. We have a website and uh, all the procedures and uh, applications are given uh, on our website. Uh, universities and institutions who desire, who want to get their program accredited, go to our website, download um, accreditation application. Uh, all the fee details are also there. Submit uh, fee in the account and apply for accreditation of their program. As soon as we receive uh, application, we, uh, we evaluate the application and uh, we start communication with the institution. NECTI provides universities and institutions uh, with guidelines on accreditation. We help them in preparing for accreditation. There are uh, almost 29 documents uh, which institutions have to prepare and we help them and guide them. Uh, there are uh, self-explanatory templates uh, are available on our website, uh, but even then uh, we are uh, there to uh, uh, explain things uh, through telephone and even uh, if uh, some institution requires, we go there and uh, personally explain things. Uh, institutions uh, who apply for accreditation should uh, constitute an accreditation committee, the local accreditation committee, uh, uh, which is responsible for to prepare accreditation documents and conduct self-evaluation as per template of uh, National Accreditation Council. Then, when institutions have completed their uh, uh, documents and they are ready for accreditation visits, NECTI plans accreditation visits of the institution. Uh, we constitute teams of external evaluators from the pool of external evaluators, I have I mentioned earlier, we, we train faculty members for uh, accreditation uh, data collection. Accreditation teams comprising two external evaluators uh, visit the relevant institution and uh, evaluate uh, documents and collect data on NECTI accreditation tools. Then, all the data is uh, sent to NECTI Secretariat. Uh, we have uh, data entry operators. Uh, they mm, enter all data on the uh, specifically developed software uh, to analyze uh, uh, data on these instruments. And uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, data analysis tool gives us information, information uh, uh, Standard wise, standard wise instruction. For example, we have 152 uh, indicators and it tells us this indicator has been achieved and this indicator has not been achieved. We have total 152 indicators and uh, output gives us information on all the 152 indicators. Now, if an institution has uh, uh, qualified uh, 90 out of out of 152 quality indicators, so what should we do? Then we compare these qualified indicators with our benchmarks. The benchmarks have specified uh, which is the minimum level, uh, what are the minimum level of indicators uh, and what are what indicators are required for Y level, what indicators are required for X level and etc. So we, we compare uh, those uh, uh, that input with our uh, uh, benchmarks and decide what level should be assigned to the program, whether it should be accredited or not. And if it is, uh, it should be accredited, then what level should be assigned? Lowest is Z, then uh, Y, X and W. So we have uh, an accreditation, national accreditation committee to analyze the 
data and our report accreditation national accreditation committee uh, recommends a uh, level and that uh, recommendation is presented in uh, the meeting of council council means national accreditation council for teacher education national accreditation for uh, council for teacher education uh, decide uh, makes final decision on accreditation and uh, uh, that decision is disseminated we issue certificates on the basis of that decision whether that certificate tells uh, y level of accreditation x level or z level etc so we also provide detailed uh, feedback we provide institution with accreditation report which comprises de detailed feedback so which uh, of the indicators have been qualified and which have not been qualified and why so that institutions can uh, work uh, on uh, their weak areas and uh, prepare for uh, better uh, accreditation level uh, uh, when they apply for the accreditation so uh, how do we disseminate those uh, uh, outcomes of, of our accreditation we provide institutions institutions with uh, detailed feedback we organize national conferences and uh, we uh, publish annual report and uh, now we have started uh, publishing uh, newsletter uh, quarterly newsletter which is available on our website next dr sir so we have trained 350 external evaluator by the last uh, uh, training workshop Uh, we have uh, uh, organized three national conferences uh, one national dialogue on teacher education uh, and uh, uh, represented it nectar in national and international conferences seminars uh, on teacher education next sorry uh, we our aim is to accredited number of teacher education programs we want all universities get their program accredited uh, we have uh, launched uh, awareness campaigns we write letters to the jodis and uh, vice chancellors of the universities uh, to uh, uh, convince them to get program accredited and now we also want to update our uh, we developed all the procedures and tools 10 years back now we want to update the key tools procedures and uh, uh, we want to uh, develop procedures uh, not only for face to face but uh, online teacher education programs also next uh, we want to launch a research journal and we want to collaborate uh, uh, collaborate in uh, research studies uh, we want to digitize our accreditation process, uh, processes and uh, we have launched quarterly newsletter or uh, we are uh, we have updated our website and we are further uh, working to uh, improve it further uh, we we want to update our nectar software it is very good but uh, when we will uh, update our instruments definitely we will uh, update our software uh, for data analysis uh, we want uh, Uh, to conduct impact studies on accreditation we are ready for collaboration uh, uh, with universities and uh, faculty members to design studies on uh, impact of uh, uh, accreditation processes next these are uh, some more uh, activities we are planning we uh, want to make uh, a council financially sustainable sustainable uh, so that we can initiate uh, some further uh, steps for such, such as uh, teacher licensing and uh, uh, other quality assurance mechanisms uh, once we are uh, financially stable we can uh, go further we are preparing database uh, for new gra graduates dr sahab ye slide puri nahi nazar aa rahi ah uh, yes 
रजिस्ट्रेशन वी विल इनवाइट teacher education graduates to get themselves registered and then uh, we will be we will plan to go ahead for licensing and uh, uh, other things uh, establish uh, no challenges uh, challenges chode bas theek hai ab next challenge ak sab next huh. now i want to introduce the audience with the uh, nectty published material uh, there is a lot of thing uh on our website available uh to introduce nectty and uh, other concepts uh, the major uh, publications are nectty and introduction anybody can go to our website and uh, uh, access these uh, uh, published published material to uh, get himself or herself acquainted with the uh, and nectty and nectty procedures and accreditation processes accreditation process and procedures for uh, uh, institutions national standards for accreditation of teacher education program i uh, as i have tried to explain uh, national standards their elements and uh, quality indicators uh, 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 anybody can go to our website and uh, uh, get this document and try to understand Uh, what is it about national standards these are the pictorial uh, representation of our material national standards introduction accreditation processes and procedures it is a very detailed document uh, uh, and it is very useful for those who are preparing for uh, next uh, accreditation next these are manual for external evaluators uh, our uh, uh, accreditation team comprising external evaluators go to the institution for data collection we have developed this into uh, uh, material so that uh, they can get them uh, uh, refreshed uh, these are uh, accreditation standards uh, accreditation of quality assurance and other conceptual clarity material now doc sir is there any question uh i am ready to answer questions of the audience i will seek help from dr humar lodi if i am unable to answer any question because she knows much more perhaps uh, she knows uh, more than me uh, about nectty Dear audience, now it's time for the question answer session from our uh, honourable guest speaker. So, if you have your question, you can write it in the chat box, or you can directly ask from the speaker. J. I have heard that the Division of Education is preparing for accreditation. So, Dr. Nayama, if there is any question or any uh, issue, uh, yes. so you can ask. डॉक्टर मा तो जानती हैं एनी हाउ शी कैन हेल्प मी टू एक्सप्लेन थिंग्स सर मेरा आपसे ये सवाल है हम अभी अपनी लोकल टीचर एजुकेशन एक्टिविटेशन की तरफ बड़े स्लोली स्लोली मूव कर रहे हैं वो दिन कब आएगा कि जब हम इंटरनेशनल टीचर एजुकेशन एक्टिविटेशन की तरफ मूव होंगे जी जब हम सस्टेनेबल uh, लेवल पर पहुंच जाएंगे uh, हमारे यहाँ लोकली uh, ये अवेयरनेस डेवलप हो जाएगी हमारे जो अपने प्रोसीजर्स हैं मजीद रिफाइन हो जाएंगे तो देन डेफिनेटली वी विल बी रिकॉग्नाइज्ड बाय अदर्स एंड वी विल बी एबल टू गेट मेंबरशिप्स ऑफ इंटरनेशनल एग्रीडिटेशन बॉडीज लाइक जिया definitely we need to improve and we need to 
go ahead. Uh, up to now, we have uh, accredited uh, about 425 jobs of purchase program. Madam uh, was uh, telling that uh, about 250 or 200 programs were uh, accredited when she left NECTI. After that, uh, during six years, uh, we have accredited total 425. And uh, most uh, uh, accreditation period of most of the programs have been expired. We are uh, trying to persuade uh, universities to get their programs re-accredited. Re and uh, mm, those who have never uh, got their programs accredited, we are asking them to get their programs accredited. So once universities will take interest, they will get their programs accredited. We will be financially sustainable and we will be able to improve our uh, procedures and tools and standards. And once we uh, reach the uh, international standards of accreditation, by now we, we are, we claim, but we can uh, improve further. And once we are uh, at that level, we will be recognized by others. So what, what are the new reforms that we need to make uh, to facilitate the process of teacher education accreditation on the part of the teacher education institution? That's what I have uh, mentioned earlier. As soon as an institution applies for accreditation of uh, its program, we start communication with that institution. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are always available on call or through email to guide uh, our clientele, our, uh, uh, our uh, university colleagues uh, to get prepared for uh, accreditation process. We, mm -hmm. There are some ambiguities in uh, understanding uh, documents which uh, institutions have to prepare and you know we we uh, personally go in the institutions and try to explain and help uh, our colleagues. As you know, once you call me in Bangalore campus and I uh, visited yes. your campus and uh, try to explain things. Yes. So whenever any institutions, uh, we 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 uh, talk to them uh, through uh, these uh, gadgets like webinar meeting. Uh, Google Meet, etc., and uh, we uh, we visit institution face to face, uh, and uh, uh, we are here to improve our system. We mm -hmm. are here to improve quality of teacher education. Mm -hmm. so we are not uh, uh, an examining or inspection body. Uh, we uh, want to work in collaboration with the universities so that. Uh, with the help of NECTI, uh, universities get their programs assessed and accredited and uh, find ways to improve uh, our programs. And once we improve our processes, our teacher education program, as Madam Manavar Mirza explained, that accreditation includes, uh, includes uh, inputs and processes and uh, output also. Once our uh, in, input and uh, processes are uh, improved, then we will definitely get better output. Next, it currently uh, lays more emphasis on processes. Uh, what is what are the, you can see our uh, standards? Those are mostly uh, about processes. What is the so which institution has the top ranking uh, in terms of the teacher education accreditation up to now? Abhi tak jo aapne accreditation programs ki ki hai teacher education Pakistan mein. So, kaun sa aisa institution hai jo aapko quality wise jo hai wo top category ke upar nazar aa raha hai? Of course, you have to say that. Ab humare jo humne accreditation ki hai, unme majority jo hai wo Z level ke hai. Low, jo acceptable level hai. Then, uske baad jo jada number hai wo hai Y level ka. A few institutions are the X level. And now, the W level is the W level. So, I have to say that the X level is the X level. But uh, I, can, I remember IBS is the X level. This is the Y level. But in Y level, more than half is the Z level. 
तो क्या नेटी ने कभी इस तरह से कोई फॉरम्स क्रिएट किया कि जिसमें लोगों को इनवाइट करें टीचर एजुकेटर्स को और उनको बताया जाए कि दिस इज द टाइम टू सेलिब्रेट दी सक्सेस ऑफ दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन कि उन्होंने इतनी अच्छी कैटेगरी को सिक्योर किया और किस तरह से किया ताकि दूसरे लोग भी इसको सीख सकें क्या आपने अपने पर्सनल ग्राउंड पे इस तरह की कोई अभी तक एफर्ट किया है जो हमारी हमारी जो कॉन्फ्रेंस हुई है तीन एक कोयटा में हुई एक के आई यू गिलगत में हुई और एक मेरा ख्याल में लाहौर में हुई थी उसमें जो रिसर्च पेपर लोगों ने प्रेजेंट किए उसमें इस किस्म की बातें भी आई और क्वेश्चंस भी हुए और मैंने अर्ज किया कि वी आर प्लानिंग कोलेबरेटिव रिसर्च स्टडीज वी आर गोइंग टू कोलेबरेट विद यूनिवर्सिटीज विद यूनिवर्सिटी फैकल्टीज टू कंडक्ट इम्पैक्ट स्टडीज एंड कंपेरेटिव स्टडीज Uh, your student can compare uh, an X category program uh, and uh, Y pro category program and uh, see whether uh, an actual difference exists there or not. I mean, uh, 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 an independent researcher can verify uh, our finding to know whether a real difference is there or not. Between uh, program accredited in Y category and program program accredited in Z category and program accredited in X category. Sir, so we have done our research. We have assigned them level. Now it is uh, the task of another researcher to mm -hmm. go into the field and uh, uh, look whether we are uh, our findings are reliable, valid or not. And if there is any uh, difference, then we can. Uh, see why is it uh, so, and uh, we can improve our uh, procedures. We so can I have a question uh, from Dr. Um, uh, Naima. Actually, she cannot ask you the question directly. Who is asking that how accreditation of institution and quality of teaching and learning, including assessment, has been revised or have been revised in the context of COVID-19 since COVID has changed the landscape totally. You can see that in that we were using subjective assessment and now we just have moved on the MCQs because in our system there is a limitation and we have to measure the performance of the student's performance on the MCQs because you are from assessment backgrounds so she is asking के ये कितना effect करेगा teacher accreditation teacher education की accreditation के लिए इसपे क्या कहेंगे आप डॉक्टर बाबा ऐसा है कि अभी तक हमारे पास ऐसा procedure और mechanism नहीं है कि हम जो है ना face to face classes ना हो तो accreditation visits करें अब तक हमने जितने भी programs visit किए हैं उसमें हमारे पास instruments हैं जिसमें हमने classroom observation करनी है प्रोस्पेक्टिव टीचर्स का हमने क्वेश्चन फिर करवाना है उनके इंटरव्यू लेने हैं और कोविड रिलेटेड सिचुएशन में हमने अभी तक विजिट्स नहीं किए हैं बट वी आर प्लानिंग टू रिवाइज आवर प्रोसीजर एंड प्रिपेयर आवर सेल्फ फॉर विजिट्स ड्यूरिंग दिस सिचुएशन व्हेन पीपल आर डिलीवरिंग ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड एस फॉर एस असेसमेंट इज कंसर्न इट इज अ बिग इशू एस इन प्रीवियस प्रेजेंटेशन डॉक्टर साहब आस्ट हर अबाउट टीचर एजुकेशन ऑफ हर एजुकेशन फैकल्टी एंड व्हेन शी वाज रिस्पोंडिंग शी टोल्ड दैट यस इवन एट हर एजुकेशन लेवल वी नीड एजुकेशन तो उन्होंने वो मिसाल भी दी कि उन्होंने सवाल देखे कुछ फैकल्टी मेंबर्स के जिनके जो क्वेश्चन बनाए हुए थे वो बहुत अजीब थे और छह सात साल आठ साल मेरी भी जो टीचर एजुकेशन के ऐसी ऐसी है जो मेरी एक्सपीरियंस है मैंने देखा अपने कॉलेज को भी और दूसरे लोगों को भी और इवन जो मेरे बच्चे यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ते हैं तो टीचर ऐसे एसेसमेंट करते हैं जिसका कोई सर पैर ही नहीं है तो ना वो एमसीक्यू से ही बनाने का तरीका हमें आता है ना हमें लर्निंग आउटकम के हिसाब से एमसीक्यू बना सकते हैं ना किसी टेक्सोनोमी के हिसाब से बना सकते हैं तो वो तो जब हम फेस टू फेस एग्जाम देते हैं एसेसमेंट के मसाले तो उस वक्त भी हैं कि टू व्हाट एक्सटेंट आवर एसेसमेंट इज वैलिड एंड रिलायबल a faculty member vary from uh, uh, faculty member to faculty member, individual to individual. Some are able to assess in a valid uh, manner and others are not. 
इस सिलसिले में मैं ये कहना चाहूंगी कि हायर एजुकेशन कमीशन पी एच ई सी इवन के पिछले दिनों में डॉक्यूमेंट रिव्यू कर रही थी कॉलेजेस की टीचर ट्रेनिंग के ऊपर जो कि इंडक्शन पे था और प्रमोशन बेस्ड के ऊपर था और फिर कंटिन्यूस प्रोफेशनल डेवलपमेंट के ऊपर था कि एफर्ट्स तो होती रहती हैं क्या ये एफर्ट्स इस तरह के प्रोडक्टिव नहीं है कि जिसकी वजह से एक चेंज को नजर आना चाहिए आप ये कहना चाह रहे हैं कि ये कि मैं सीखना भी चाहता हूं या नहीं मुझे कोई भी ना सिखाए अगर मैं अपने आप को इम्प्रूव करना चाहता हूं इन द फील्ड ऑफ असाइसमेंट तो आई कैन डू इट अब ऐसा जमाना है और ऐसे गैजेट्स अवेलेबल हैं ऐसे रिसोर्स अवेलेबल हैं कि जो भी बंदा प्रोफेशनल डेवलपमेंट करना चाहे ही शी कैन डू इट बाई हर और हिज ओन क्या फॉलो अप करने की यहाँ पे जरूरत है कि जिसपे हम ये देखें कि सभी टीचर्स जो है वो ऑन बोर्ड है और सभी जो असेसमेंट का मैकेनिज्म है उसको अडॉप्ट कर रहे हैं उसको इम्प्लीमेंट कर रहे हैं क्या इसके ऊपर हमें कोई काम करने की जरूरत है हमने ट्रेनिंग तो करवा दी हायर एजुकेशन ने इंडक्शन ट्रेनिंग करा दी कंटिन्यूस ट्रेनिंग करवा दी अब वो लोग वापस आ गए अब कहाँ पे हमारे पास लूप होल है कहाँ पे गैप है जिसको हमें ठीक करने की जरूरत है मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है डॉक्टर साहब मैंने वो देखी है ट्रेनिंग भी एक या दो मॉड्यूल है तीन चार लेक्चर है ऑन असेसमेंट अब तीन या चार या पांच लेक्टर से एक न्यूली इंडक्टेड फैकल्टी मेंबर्स को असेसमेंट तो नहीं सिखाई जा सकती मेरे मेरे ख्याल में खास तौर पर जो एरियाज हैं जिनमें ट्रेनिंग की जरूरत है एट ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ टीचिंग हा वो प्राइवेट स्कूल टीचर है हाई स्कूल टीचर है यूनिवर्सिटी टीचर है कॉलेज टीचर है देर आर सम एरिया जिसमें उसको स्पेसिफिक ट्रेनिंग की जरूरत है जिनमें से असेसमेंट एक है मे बी रिसर्च दूसरा है मे बी कुछ और भी हम आइडेंटिफाई कर सकते हैं तो ऐसे एरिया में ज्यादा रिग्रेस ट्रेनिंग की जरूरत है और नंबर टू जी जी मेरा एक और सवाल है थोड़ा ट्रेनिंग में बैठे होते हैं वो इंटरेस्टेड होते हैं एक दफा मैं और डॉक्टर हुमा ने वो जो ट्रेनिंग इंडक्शन ट्रेनिंग के मॉड्यूल था वो हमने किया तो ये तो देखा कि नो बॉडी वॉज देर टू लर्न नो बॉडी वॉज रेडी टू लिसन जी जी तो विलिंगनेस क्या है जो वो आपके सामने वो तो ट्रेनिंग के नेचर्स के ऊपर भी डिपेंड करता है कि वो ट्रेनिंग किस तरह से स्केचुअल की गई क्या बूट कैंप दिया गया और क्या कितनी इफेक्टिवली लोगों को इंगेज किया गया एक और सवाल है मेरा इसी का फॉलोअप क्वेश्चन ये है डॉक्टर साहब मैं बहुत सारी जैसे चीजों को जानती हूँ मुझे असेसमेंट के प्रोसीजर्स का पता है मैं बड़ी आसानी से वर्चुअल लर्निंग में भी अडॉप्ट कर सकती हूँ लेकिन मेरी लिमिटेशन क्या है सिस्टम मेरा सिस्टम मुझे वो प्रोविजन नहीं देता वो सॉफ्टवेयर नहीं देता वो एक्सेस नहीं देता उन फेसिलिटीज के ऊपर कि मैं डॉप कर सकूं वहां पे आप क्या कहेंगे कि इस पर्सन की कोई ट्रेनिंग में गैप है उस उस पर्सन को तो आगे वो सिस्टम ही जाने नहीं दे रहा वहां पे आप हम जिस सिस्टम में हैं, हमने अपने आप को अडेप्ट करना है उस सिस्टम में रहते हुए हमने काम करना है एंड वी हैव टू ट्राई अवर बेस्ट जो चीजें हमारे बस में नहीं है उसके लिए हम बात तो कर सकते हैं उसके लिए फीडबैक तो दे सकते हैं लेकिन जो हमारे बस में नहीं है उसको हमें एक्सेप्ट करना पड़ता है और विद इन दैट हमें अपनी कोशिश जो है वो जारी रखनी होती है थैंक यू सो मच योर ऑडियंस इफ यू हैव एनी अदर क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द लास्ट मोमेंट टू आस्क क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वी आर रनिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ टाइम प्लीज बाकी बातें तो सब ठीक है डॉक्टर साहब आप भी है और आप हमारे हमारे से ज्यादा एक्सपर्ट लोग हैं जो कह रहे हैं बिल्कुल ठीक कह रहे हैं डॉक्टर साहब मेरे एक रिक्वेस्ट थी अभी डॉक्टर नाइमा ने जो बात की है मैं उसको सेकेंड कर रही हूँ कि हम हमारा सिस्टम जैसे भी हम एग्जांपल दे रहे थे कोविड के लिहाज से थोड़ा सा हम इसको अडेप्ट कर सकते हैं एज पर माय नॉलेज जैसे क्लासरूम ऑब्जर्वेशन का हमारा टूल है ना उसमें हमारी इंडिकेटर हम असेस करते हैं एक्सटेंट ऑफ इंडिकेटर एक्सटेंट ऑफ इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन टीचर एजुकेटर एंड द स्टूडेंट अच्छा अगर हम हम इसको ऑनलाइन इसमें ऑब्जर्वेशन में करना चाहें डॉक्टर साहब वो आराम से जो है ना वो आप उसको अडेप्ट कर सकते हैं बल्कि अडेप्ट क्या उसी के ऊपर भी आपकी आपका डेटा आ सकता है अगर हम जो भी आपका जा रहा है वेलिवेटर वो उस क्लासरूम का दो तीन क्लासरूम का हिस्सा बन जाए जैसे हम रूटीन में करते हैं डॉक्टर साहब जी सर 
डॉक्टर साहब आपने जो पॉइंट आउट किया है ना वो फ्लैंडर्स का जो इंटरेक्शन एनालिसिस है अब मेरी जो टॉप प्रायोरिटी है मेरे जहन में सबसे पहले बाकी इंस्ट्रूमेंट तो हम बदलेंगे ही बदलेंगे सबसे पहले हमने उसको बदलना है और ऑनलाइन क्लास को ऑब्जर्व करने के लिए हमने देखना है कि वो फ्लैंडर का जो इंटरेक्शन चेकलिस्ट है वो कौन से इंडिकेटर से रेलिवेंट है और उस इंडिकेटर को और किस तरह से असेस कर सकते हैं तो तो सर वो इंट्रेक्शन से रिलेटेड था कि एक तो इंट्रेक्शन कितनी है तीन इंडिकेटर्स हैं वो अगर आप उसके मैप में जाए ना तो वो तीन इंडिकेटर को कर रहा है लेकिन वो तीनों जो इंडिकेटर वो दो और जगह से भी और सोर्सेज से भी डेटा उसका आ रहा है मेरा सिर्फ ये रिक्वेस्ट जो मैं कर रही थी मैडम की बात से डॉक्टर नाइमा की बात से कि कुछ चीजें ऐसी हैं जो हमारे टूल्स ऐसे जेनेरिक हैं कि वो इस ऑनलाइन इस ऑनलाइन सिस्टम में भी हमारे एप्लीकेबल हैं ऐसे के जी जी हम हम तो हम हम अगर ये 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 रहती है तो तो प्लान करें लोग जाएं थैंक 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 यू यू सो सो मच मच एवरीवन ऑन ऑफ ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी एजुकेशन एक्सेप्टिंग माय इनविटेशन एजुकेशन एक्रेडिटेशन थैंक यू um once again for sharing the valuable ways to qualify the process of teacher education accreditation programs uh, for the participants who are aspiring uh, to accredite their programs by the NEC team thank you once again thank you once again thank you over to meeting you once again on a different forum thank you thank you so much participants for your presence and 